I got this small computer for testing and it turns out it competes with larger ones in many tasks and it's very affordable. In this video I'll share more about it, conduct tests and show how good it is for studying, working and even gaming. To be honest it surprised me, so this episode is not just a review of a specific mini PC model, but an example of how practical such computers can be in everyday life. Subscribe to the channel while you can, and if you like the video, don't forget to like and leave a comment. Let's start with a general overview and disassembly of this machine, and then move to the Windows desktop for testing. Among all the various mini PCs available on the market now, in 2025 I ultimately chose this specific one. First, it has an intriguing size, a square measuring 9 by 9 cm and standing 4 cm high. Very compact and stylish. Secondly, it features a budget Intel N100 processor. You can clearly see its impressive capabilities and it consumes only 36 watts. This computer can easily run off a power bank and the price is great, around $110 to $150 depending on the seller and promotions. Inside, everything is modern, the computer, instructions, a mount for placing it behind the monitor or TV, a power supply and an HDMI cable. All items are high quality. The power supply provides 12 volts and 3 amps of output, featuring a convenient Type-C input, allowing you to effortlessly utilize a robust power bank to efficiently power this computer. It can even provide power to a small computer monitor. Very practical and overall economical. Just compare the total energy consumption of a 400 watt power supply against a much lower 36 watt computer. Of course, I won't stop at just this external overview. Let's take it apart and see what's inside. The bottom is screwed on and here we access the processor. The fan can be unscrewed for maintenance of the cooling system. It's good here, with a nice airflow out. Somewhere in this area is the RAM, which is integrated into the board, but it won't need changing since 12 GB is more than enough. The LED backlight beautifully enhances the cover, adding a stylish and appealing touch. Interestingly, if desired, the color can be adjusted through the BIOS, where you can also turn off the backlight. The opposite side is significantly easier to open, there are convenient latches and underneath it lies a 5 or 12 GB SSD in a compact format. If you unscrew the seals, there's also a removable Wi-Fi module combined with the audio output from Realtek. Text is tightly packed together. There's nothing more to disassemble, so let's put it back together and boot up Windows. How long will it take to boot? It took approximately 26 seconds in total, including the BIOS startup, self-test procedures and finally reaching the desktop. Windows 11 is already installed, so I won't have to buy an activation key from your laptop. The performance of this processor with Windows 11 is quite interesting. If we look at the task manager, the processor is constantly running at 100%. The screen recording software, updates, antivirus and various internal services are all competing for the attention of four low-frequency cores. However, the overall system and program responsiveness is quite good. I experience no noticeable lags. I can navigate through various folders and browse different websites at the same impressive speed as on a regular, fast computer. However, there's an important catch to consider. Windows has become adept at prioritizing applications based on their needs, and if the processor's power is inadequate, the primary application you are actively using will continue to perform efficiently, while background tasks and processes may struggle to function properly. What else should we test? Let's run a benchmark. I conducted several tests in Cinebench R23 and managed to achieve a maximum score of 2700. This is indeed a low score compared to full-size processors, but not significantly lower. Here are the processors that are slightly more advanced ahead. What games can this integrated graphics processor run? Let's try something not too new, especially since all new games are tens of gigabytes and take a long time to install. In FIFA 2015, the FPS at medium resolution and graphics exceeds 40, which is quite enough for comfortable gameplay. And here's another exciting strategy game from 2016, Anno 2205. It's significantly more demanding on the processor. At medium resolution and settings, it runs between 12 to 20 frames per second FPS, but on low settings, it can reach up to 30 frames. So for this computer, the selection of available games is quite large. If you buy it for a child, it will be suitable for both studying and gaming. It will also work very well as an office computer. However, for professional-grade software, advanced video editing and detailed 3D modeling, where significant rendering and processing power is essential, this computer is only appropriate for beginners and casual users. 
However, for tasks such as programming, design and other applications that are not highly demanding, this computer will effectively handle web development at a medium level. Please leave your feedback in the comments about what you think it can handle and what it can't. And one more thing to consider. What specific actions could I take to improve this PC's performance? Yes, I'm talking about my program again. I reviewed the program's pages and turned off unnecessary features in Windows. And just take a moment to look at the noticeable difference. There are significantly fewer processes actively running in the system, and the processor itself is much calmer, with no more fierce struggle for its vital resources. Although this won't noticeably speed up games and applications, it will definitely ease the processor's load, preventing it from being constantly maxed out at 100% and energy savings will be even greater. Notice how remarkably calm the task manager appears now. You can visit the official website to check out the PC program. What conclusion can be drawn? An excellent computer considering its price. If you are on a limited budget, it's a great option for a first computer. You just need to buy a monitor, mouse and keyboard. It also works well as a brain for a TV or projector. And you can even take it on trips and connect it to any TV. I'm not leaving a link to the seller because this isn't an ad. But if you're in Ukraine and want to buy this unit, there's a link to the OLX listing below. Share your thoughts on this computer in the comments and about such mini PC devices in general. See you there.